Okay, onward and upward. More pH of weak acids and bases. pH of weak base equilibria now. So the only difference here, these are going to be two very basic problems. Um, instead of producing hydrogen, from which we can find the pH, um, weak bases, of course, will produce hydroxide, from which we can find the pOH, and then the pH. So for our first example, um, we're going to start off with NH3, so we still need a, an equation. It's a little bit more important to include the water in the base equations so that you can actually see the hydroxide form. Ammonia is acting as the base, so it's going to steal a hydrogen ion from the water, making it NH4+, and then hydroxide here. Note we have the Kb now. So if I do a little rice equation type thing, 15.0 molar, 0 and 0. Well, water is 55.4 molar, but water is also a liquid. So although I included it in the equation so that I can see where the hydroxide is coming from, it does not influence my equilibria at all. So now I can do my changes of my minus and plus x. If you're bored of this, you can go on ahead of me. Come back when you catch up. Same scenario, only now I have a Kb instead of a Ka. So I have 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth. Yes, that does happen to match the one for acetic acid. Equals x squared over 15 minus x. Really large concentration. Not so large Kb. Let's try marking out the x. So I have 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 times 15. And that's x squared, so I take the square root. And I get 0 0.01643 equals x. I need to check my 5%. 0 0.05 times 15, again based on my original concentration, is 0.75 molar. Alrighty, hydroxide is 0 0.0, or my x value is 0 0.016, which is mighty tiny. Okay, so that definitely can work out just fine. Now what I can find with this is I can find the pOH is negative log of 0 0.01643 and that gives me 1.784 I'm going to go ahead and carry three sig figs because I've got three here at the top and then for my pH would be 14 minus that So my pH is 12.216. <clears throat> For the next exercise and the last one in this set, pH of weak base is 2. I'm just going to get you started by helping you figure out what methylamine is. And then the rest looks the same. Methyl groups is like methane, except lacking one of the hydrogens, so it's a CH3 group. And then the amine group is NH2. So CH3, NH2, that's the weak base, plus water. In most of the cases of these weak bases, the amine group is where it picks up the hydrogen. So then you have CH3, NH3+, plus and OH minus. You have your KB value. You use rice and your KB value to calculate first the pOH and then the pH. To check and see if your answer is correct, pH will be 12.32 when you get done. If not, come ask me about it tomorrow. Good luck!